Other than President Trump having COVID, there isn't really a lot going on in terms of the national news. So I decided for this video to sort of take it back on the local level and talk about something interesting that I saw today. Uh, so Belen, uh, you know, Belen's a private school in Miami. It's one of the top schools in Miami, according to rankings. Um, their students, I think it was either today or yesterday, Sunday, decided to protest. And the issue they decided to take a stand on was abortion. Here it is. You could see two kids holding up men for others, men for life. It is God who gives us life. Pope Francis, they're clearly against abortion. Abortion kills children. Um, adoption, the loving option. Uh, here's this kid holding an anti-abortion sign. Abortions hurt women. Before I give you my thoughts on this news, I want to tell you the reactions of my friends who are pro-choice. All of them were clowning on these kids throughout all social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, mainly making fun of them. And funny enough, these weren't the only kids. There were also some LaSalle girls doing it. Here's the photo of the LaSalle girls. Anyway, the memes to this have been absolutely hilarious. They took some of the kids, you know, blanked out their signs and just put the funniest <laughs> on there ever. Uh, I'm gonna put these here for you to react to. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, obviously, we as Americans have the right to peacefully protest. These kids seemed like they were social distancing, wearing masks, following CDC guidelines for the most part. So even though I disagree with what they're protesting for, they have every right to do it. But let me tell you why I disagree with them. Um, I am personally pro-choice, and I do think that a woman has the right to choose whether or not she wants to get an abortion uh, simply because it's her body but then also it's not a life form in my opinion I don't think something is a life until it reaches the point of viability outside of the womb so everything before that point is game and I feel like with the issue of abortion the arguments fundamentally like miss each other on both sides so the pro-life argument is Abortion is murder because life starts at conception. And it's not a woman's choice to murder because murder is morally wrong. That's their argument. And then the pro-choice argument is it's not a life. And up to a certain point before it does become a life, a woman can choose whether or not to terminate it. And both of the like labeling misses the mark because pro-choice isn't responding to the idea of pro-life because murder shouldn't be a choice. And pro-life isn't responding to the idea of pro-choice because the people who are pro-choice don't view abortion as murder. When I use sort of the label of talking about abortion, I use pro-abortion and anti-abortion. So pro in the sense that even though you might not be personally comfortable with it, you would allow others to get one. And then anti-abortion is you are opposed to abortion. Personally speaking, I've never been the one to buy the argument of, oh, if you're not a woman, you can't take a stance on the issue of abortion. I mean, I feel like the people who do make that pro-choice, I mean, I do agree with them on the issue of pro-choice, but I don't agree with, like, with the argument that they're making that, oh, if you're not a woman, then you can't make the argument. Because it's kind of like, what happens if you have a woman who's pro-life? Does that mean her opinion is now automatically more valuable than somebody who's a male who's pro-choice? No. Initial sex is something that you yourself cannot control. Therefore, it should not be used to determine whether or not you can make an argument about abortion. It doesn't really make sense to me. Going forward, the best thing to do would be to say to a male who is pro-life, hey, here's why you are wrong. Here's why pro-choice is actually the correct position to have instead of just, you know, browbeating them and saying, all right, you're a male, you can't have an opinion. It's just an intellectually lazy argument in my mind. Overall, this protest was very funny to watch and see not only it but the people's reactions to it at the end of the day though did these kids expect to be memed uh no did they get memed anyway yes 
For those of you who are new to Small Room Report, if you found this video entertaining or informative, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more great content. All the platforms I have are in the description of this segment. Have a great day.